and welcome or welcome back to Sissy Spaces. And thank you for sharing part of your day with me today. Also, happy Mother's Day to all my moms out there and single dads, because if you're a single dad, you're a mom too. In today's video, I'm deep cleaning my bedroom because I know for a fact today I'm gonna to be spending a lot of time in here. You see, at the age of 25, I became a mother for the first time. And I remember my mother-in-law, who has since passed, calling and wishing me a happy Mother's Day. She also said, slow down, relax, and enjoy this day because it's in honor of how much you do every day. So for the last 20 plus years, I take advantage of this day by slowing down, sleeping in, and just relaxing. In other words, I will not be getting my 10,000 steps in today, and that's okay. I know you're probably wondering, why doesn't she have a bed frame or a headboard? Well, I did order a bed frame from Wayfair in 2021, but I had to return it because it was too large for the space. And you know what? I may not purchase another one because I like the idea of being able to move my bed and dust behind it. I also read that dust builds up under and behind the bed quickly because of all the skin particles, hair and pet dander and other types of dirt that gather in the bedroom. So it's just convenient for me not to have a bed frame so that I may easily clean behind my bed periodically. I purchased this Tempur-Pedic adjustable bed in 2021. It's not my first Tempur-Pedic or adjustable bed as I purchased my first one in 2015. I love these Tempur-Pedic beds because it has this foam mattress, which are specifically designed to help reduce back pain. Also, a Tempur-Pedic mattress will conform to your body, reducing those uncomfortable pressure points while you sleep. purchased this calendar from a store called at home about three years ago and it's fun just to wake up and change to date and also on this day we experienced a power outage and what you see here is a plug-in flashlight i ordered those from amazon and i placed them throughout my home and whenever we have a power outage our home is lit up
though these cords look a hot mess and after watching this, I went back and took care of it. I robot from Best Buy about three years ago on a Black Friday. Since then, I purchased two more. Also, my supervisor just walked in. That's my fur baby, Max. Whenever he hears the noise, he comes and checks on his mommy. Once he figured out what it was, he left. purchased this china cabinet from Wayfair two years ago and use it as a dresser. You see, I found that a bookcase, in this instance a china cabinet, provides more storage and better layout options than furniture traditionally fitting these roles. Now using a china cabinet as a dresser is unconventional, but it works. It allows my husband and I to see everything we have, thus reducing duplicate purchases. I dust my blinds monthly and yearly wipe them down with my homemade cleaner, which consists of distilled vinegar, water, Dawn dish detergent, and lavender scented oil. You see, if you don't dust your blinds regularly, dirt and dust will accumulate, and by the time you get around to cleaning them, it's harder to clean. Also, regular cleaning helps improve your indoor air quality and help the blinds last longer. For instance, most of the blinds in my home were here when I purchased the home in 2009, so they're at least 15 plus years old. The guy in the background wearing the red sweater, that's my husband. 
He's getting ready to pressure wash the patio. I'm hoping to have that video out to you within the next two weeks. Once a year, I deep clean all the windows in my home. Again, I use my homemade cleaner, which consists of distilled vinegar, water, Dawn dish detergent, and lavender scented oil. Also, many people don't know this, but one of the most effective ways to clean glass is using dish soap. It's what the professional use. You see, dish soap can remove stuck on dirt and cuts any hazy buildup. It also works well on cloudy mirrors. Just two of these chairs and the matching bench which is located at the foot of our bed from Wayfair in 2015. I love the look of these but they're a pain to clean because the dirt and the dust it gathers where the buttons and the stitches are located so I have to vacuum it regularly. This type of upholstery is what they call tuft because it's one in which the buttons and the stitches are in it and it's creating some sort of geometric pattern but I will not purchase tuft furniture ever again. I know this may sound weird to some, and it is random, but I really enjoy vacuuming. Most people don't realize this, but in order for you to disinfect any soft surfaces with Lysol disinfectant spray, you need to spray it for about three to four seconds until that item is covered, and then you need to let that surface remain wet for about three minutes. Along with deep cleaning my bedroom, I decided I might as well go ahead and deep clean my bathroom.
It's nice having a jetted bathtub, but cleaning that jetted bathtub regularly about once a month is important because over time, oil, bacteria, mold, and mildew can collect in the jets, which will release those unwanted particles back into the tub when you fill it with water. These are quartz countertops and you shouldn't be using Clorox wipes daily or even often on quartz countertops because Clorox wipes have citrate acid in them and it can cause discoloration. So what I do is once or twice a year, I wipe the countertops down with Clorox wipes. Other times I use my homemade mixture. I finally changed out my winter decor to spring decor. I purchased the vase and faux stems from Walmart and the lidded dish and match cloches from Anthropology. I stopped at Target and picked up a couple of things that we use most often because when you need them, you can never find them. came with these built-in magazine racks that you can see here behind me. Before purchasing this home, I had never seen that before. declutter and organize on my closet about three months ago. If you didn't see that video, go back and check it out.
these floors were installed, I noticed that it wasn't sealed properly. So annually I seal it, but before that I make sure I go through and I scrub each grout line. It's a lot of work, but it's worth it in the end. If you made it this far, I want to thank you for watching Sissy Spaces. And also thanks for 500 subscribers. As always, if you subscribe to my channel, I'll subscribe to yours. If you haven't subscribed, please remember to hit that orange S in the center of the screen to subscribe. Also, hit that like button and share this channel with your family and friends. Again, thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.